ever wished you could create pro level videos without spending hours editing? Well, NVIDIA AI claims to do just that. Just type in a prompt and NVIDIA will generate a well edited video within minutes. In this video, I'll break down what NVIDIA AI is, what it can do, and whether it's actually worth using. Plus, I'll be giving you my honest opinion throughout the video, as well as a hands-on tutorial so you can see it in action. Before we start, if you wanted to follow along with me, there will be a link provided in the description which will take you to the sign up page where you can create an account. Then you should be taken to the dashboard of NVIDIA. Before we generate a video, you do want to make sure that your model is on the latest version. If you do not see an option like this, what you can do is click the top right profile picture and click on settings. Then you want to enable beta features. If it is already enabled, then you do not have to worry about this step. And then once you go back and refresh the page, you should be able to gain access to the 3.0 version. So now that is done, we can now begin to generate a video. So as it shows here, you do need to give a topic for the video. So I do have a pre-made script that I will go ahead and paste in. The script is, I'd like to create a two minute video on the best places to travel, use a English male voice and make the video fun with humor fun facts and give the intro a good hook. Of course, you can be a lot more specific with your script. Then once you have pasted it in, you can then go ahead and click generate a video. After that, it will then begin to analyze your script. Then there's a couple prompts that you do need to answer in order to make the best video possible for your audience. So for example, you can choose between the duration of the video. So I'll keep it at two minutes the type of audience that this video will be displayed to. So because it is a traveling video, I will keep it as travel enthusiasts and the platform that I'd like to upload this content to will be YouTube. You can also choose between stock media or generative media. Now generative media is for a paid plan, so do keep that in mind. However, I will show you the difference between the two. So for starters, I will start with the stock media. After that, you can then click continue. So after a couple of minutes, it has now generated my video. Before I do any changes or do any command edits, what I'll do is I'll show you the raw footage of what it has created just from my script. Hey, adventure seekers, ready to add some spice to your travel list? Let's dive right into the top must visit places for your next big adventure. First up, Bali, Indonesia. Imagine waking up to the sound of waves, sipping on fresh coconut water. As you can see, the video is very basic and there's not too much going on. There's a lot of things that I'd like to adjust within this video, which of course can be done. But considering this is a free plan and that it was just from a simple script, it is a pretty good video. What we can also do is look at the command area and give it a command to edit our video. For example, if I was interested in adding subtitles to the video, what I can do is simply type in add subtitles and then I can click generate. Then after literally probably five seconds, it has now added subtitles throughout my whole video. So again, if I play the video, there we go, it is now added our very own subtitles. Simply just pasting in a basic command, it has now added subtitles throughout the whole video, which eliminates so much work having to do that usually by yourself. It ends up saving you a lot of time, especially if you're making a lot of content similar to this. So that was the free option. I'll now go into the paid option to give you a better understanding of the free plan versus the paid plan. So what I've done is pasted the exact same script that I used for the previous free version. However, I've now chosen the generative media option so again i'll show you first the raw footage of what it is just created from my script travel's all about right now let's talk rome you know that feeling when you're a kid and you pretend to be a superhero well in rome you can literally pretend to be a gladiator at the Colosseum. it's crazy i tried it and let me tell you those guys were way tougher than i am as you can see, the video quality is a lot more better than the previous video. As shown in the video, it has added a lot more better backgrounds and it has generated some cool AI footage. Again, this is all raw footage just from the script. This isn't edited at all. Just like I did in the previous example, I can also choose to add all types of different things to my video. First one again being is the subtitles. So by simply typing add subtitles into the command area and then clicking generate, it will then go through my video again and give my whole video subtitles. And if you were wondering why this little watermark in the top right is there, once you do finalize your video, you can actually remove this. So don't think of this as a watermark. Now, if you weren't a fan of using the command area and letting AI generate all of your editing needs, what you can do is click the edit button here and manually edit your video. So as shown, I can go through each of the clips and change the media that is shown simply by uploading my own media if I had my own, 
I can go through the stock media or I can click a generative media here and click generate new media. And then I can go ahead and describe a scene, generate a clip and change that certain clip for my video. I can do this for any of the clips displayed in the video, but do keep in mind this does take five generative credits, which I'll explain further into the video with all the plans and pricing. But for the most part, a lot of the clips that NVIDIA has generated are very well put together and you won't have to do too much changing. Not only can you change the media shown in the videos, you can also change the music. So you can choose from their loyalty free music area, which is located in the stock music prompt. And as you can see, you can scroll through and choose any of the tracks. You can also choose to upload your own music, which is a really nice feature. You can also edit the entire script. So if you weren't happy with certain parts within your video, you can simply choose an area like shown here and then go ahead and edit it. And then finally, we can click the settings tab, which allows us to add overlay, transition, subtitle, and text presets. You also have the master volume area where you can do some basic adjustments for your audio. Again, you don't need anything too special for your audio. So this is all you really need. And down here, we can choose to add a different character to voice over our video. For example, if I click the plus button near the characters area and then choose between the genders, so male and female, and then I can give the voice a description. So regards to the editing part of NVIDIA, everything is very simple and easy to use. You really don't have to have much editing experience at all. Again, I highly recommend using the command area. It is definitely going to be your best friend when it comes to generating videos with NVIDIA. Of course, once you have touched up your video and you were happy with the end result, you can then go ahead and click download. Another very cool feature that I thought would be worth mentioning is that you can also add your own voice and clone it for your narration needs. For example, instead of having to use a random AI generated voice, you can actually go and clone your own voice and use it for all your generated videos. To do this, you can simply click the top left three lines and then click voices. This does require a paid plan, so do keep that in mind. As you can see here, I do already have my voice applied, but I will show you how to add your own. So simply click the plus button then you need to follow these basic instructions so you need to submit a recording of at least 30 seconds and within that recording you do need to give permission to nvidia that you would like to clone your voice and the final requirement is to have high quality recording equipment and do keep in mind that you don't need the best of the best microphone you can really get away with anything as long as it's just clear of course once you have done that you can then choose the file drag and drop it here and then you'll be able to create and clone your own voice for all your videos for example i can replace the AI voice within this video with my own simply by typing in the command replace the AI voice with Jack's voice. Of course the name of your clone will not be Jack's voice it will be whatever you've decided but once you've done that you can then click generate and after a few minutes we can now go ahead and play the video with my clone voice. Hey adventure seekers ready to add some spice to your travel list? Let's dive right into the top must visit places for your next big adventure. As you can see, it does a very good job with replicating my voice. So instead of having a typical AI video, you can incorporate your own voice and make it a lot more real. Another cool thing that you can do with both the AI voice and your clone voice is change the language by simply putting this prompt into the command area. Of course, you can choose any language. For this example, I would like to change the language of this video to Spanish. So once I've typed that in, I can then click generate. There we go. It is now generated the video in Spanish. So now if I go ahead and play it. Hola aventureros, listos para añadirle un poco de emoción a vuestra lista de viajes. There we go. And considering that I do not speak a word of Spanish, that is a pretty good voiceover. So now that I've showed you how to use in video and a lot of its cool features, I'll now explain the plans and pricings that you can expect. So as shown, there's four options we can choose between. There is the free plan, the plus, max, and generative plan. As of recording, I'm currently using the generative plan. So the plans are very self-explanatory. If you have just signed up you will be on the free plan where you only get 10 ai minutes per week you get no generative credits no voice clones and only 10 gigabytes of storage with four exports per week with watermarks of course you can't really expect too much from the free plan next is the plus plan which does come at 20 dollars per month if you are with the yearly option with the plus plan you do get 50 ai minutes with 80 i stock photos and footage you still get no generative credits and you gain access to two voice clones with 100 gigabytes worth of storage you can also add one user and you get unlimited 
exports. Regards to add-ons, you can choose to add generative credits or give yourself a boost for your AI minutes and stock footage. Next is the Max plan, which does come at $48 per month. Just like the Plus plan, you can add your own add-ons. You get 200 AI minutes with 320 iStock photos and footage. You get 60 seconds of generative credits, along with five different voice clones with 400 gigabytes of storage. So definitely a big step up from the Plus plan. And then finally, which is the plan that I'm currently on, is the generative plan, which does come at $96 per month. With generative plan, you do get 200 AI minutes with 320 iStock. You get 15 minutes of generative credits instead of 60 seconds, which again is such a huge upgrade. Five voice clones with 400 gigabytes of storage. And just like the Plus and Max plan, you gain access to one extra user along with unlimited exports. So regards to choosing a plan, the free option is best, of course, to test out and see if you're really interested in NVIDIA. Of course, the Plus plan is a step up, gaining access to the voice clone feature, which is very, very helpful, especially for better quality videos. However, if you were finding a lot of great use within NVIDIA and you really liked this AI tool, the Max plan definitely is the best for price and just usability, considering that you do gain access to generative credits, which is only 60 seconds, but you can choose to add more if you would like. And you gain 200 AI minutes, which is more than enough for a lot of content. But of course, that is up for you to decide. So definitely make sure to read these properly and choose the right plan for yourself. Apart from that, thanks a lot for watching my NVIDIA AI tutorial slash review. This AI tool is really good for creating quick and easy content with a lot of cool features that will definitely make your videos stand out from other spammy AI videos. Again, as I mentioned previously, the fact that you can clone your own voice and change it at your own will is amazing in itself. I definitely recommend giving NVIDIA at least a try. Again, there will be a link in the description which you can click on to sign up for this great AI tool. I appreciate every single one of you for watching my video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.